Jason Pine. I'm here with a Plan With Me video in my Bujo Fitness Planner. Excuse my voice, I'm losing my voice. Um, combination of talking to children every day <laughs> and allergies. So yeah, it is really me. It might sound like a man, but it's really me. Um, so I am doing a Bujo spread. I was very ambitious with this spread, um, so I had to do some of it, well, most of it off camera. So let me give you a look at the first part of the week. I had this grand idea of bullet journaling kettle bells. I hope you can see that that's supposed to be a kettle bell. And so what I've done is I've done the kettle bell. I put the day of the week up here. I still need to put the actual date on these. Then I put um, some little cups to track my water. And so I use my stencil kits that I got from Walmart, the pen and gear ones. I use these little hearts for my bullet points. And I have a few other things here. There's a few other things I need to stencil that I'll probably do on camera. But I wanted to get most of it done. I got all of the week done and I said I would show you that last day of the week here. So the stencils I use are these from Walmart, Pin and Gear. They were $2.88. They come in a folder. There's eight stencil sheets in each pack. So the way I've decided I'm going to use my stencils, of course, I do pre-planning most of the time. So I'm going to keep my stencils on the left. And when the ones I know I want to use for plan with me, I'll move them over to the right. So I don't have to shuffle through all of them when I'm doing my planning. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and finish this out. Um, this might be one of those videos where I actually maybe just kind of fast forward a lot of it because I really don't want to put much more stress on my voice. But yeah, so I have not been in this fitness, this Bujo Fitness Planner um, for some weeks, just like most of my planners. Um, and I really just need to get to the gym. And my schedule's crazy now, so I'm just hoping that by the grace of God, I can get to the gym this week um, and get something done. <laughs> but I don't know. If it doesn't happen this week, it has to happen next week for sure. So yeah, I actually had was going to print out some kettlebell stickers I was going to put some icons together that I found on the computer and print them as stickers and then Johanna so nicely challenged me to a five sticker challenge and so I knew I couldn't just do five stickers with my other plan with me that was not going to work. Couldn't just do five with my social media or my classic. I maybe could have done it with my mini. But yeah, even that would have been a stretch. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to do it this way. So this one is actually going to hit this line, I believe, which I really didn't want that to happen. But I, my count for all of this was a little off, just a little for this last one. Okay, so I've outlined it in pencil. Um, I need to go and do... the inside here yeah I figured I had these fitness stencils this was gonna be the best one for me to to do the um, five sticker challenge with but it's already tedious to do bullet journaling and when you add in all the stencils that I added in yeah even more of a challenge 
but hey. Not too bad, I guess. It, it, I can say one thing, it's kind of been a little bit like relaxing and um, therapeutic to do it. So I can say that much. Where's my water ones? Okay, there they are. So even though the water ones are like all across, I did um, I did three and then two and, th and then three because I wanted to have eight for the eight glasses we're supposed to get every day. I don't always get those eight glasses, but I try. I think I'm going to try my best to do that over the summer and just start drinking more water. And if I have to go to the restroom, then I'm just going to stop and go to the restroom. Because I've, I'm too used to just holding it or not drinking water at all because I can't get to the restroom right away. And I don't want to keep doing that to my body. All right, so we have all of that. Let's see, we need to do our hearts. And the hearts, I'm doing the bullets on the hearts to represent my um, food log. So there's four hearts. Um, one for breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner. Although sometimes I have several snacks, I just list them all in one spot. Okay, so that's done. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this in with purple here, the hearts. And I'm just using a regular Paper Make Ink Joy ballpoint pen. I prefer ballpoint pens. Yep. That's my preference. And for me, because of the way that I write, I think ballpoint works better for me. Ballpoint point, rather seems to write smoother for me than most gel pens, although I've come across a few gel pens that write pretty nicely. And then with ballpoint pens, you don't normally have to wait for them to dry. You don't really have to worry about smearing that much with ballpoint pens so that is why they are my preference so I need to do the day of the week up here So that's done. And now I'm going to go. Where is my gel pen? I, uh, this gel pen I bought from Plans and Pens. She's plant, um, Plans and Pens on YouTube and Instagram. And she also has an Etsy shop. And this is a nice gel pen. Like, I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and trace over my lines with this. And I hope I'm in frame, y'all. I think I am. So, I like to do it in pencil first. That helps alleviate any mistakes. Because once you put the ink down, then that's it. Unless you're using some friction erasable ink pens, which I haven't tried those. I've seen some videos and they seem to work pretty well. And so I thought about possibly purchasing some of those, but we shall see. You know, I'm, I'm a stickler for my pens. I prefer certain pens. There's a Uniball pen that I really, really like. It's not a gel pen, but it's my favorite Uniball. I'll never forget years ago, probably, oh man, at least five years ago, probably, um, someone gave me one and it wrote so smoothly. Oh my God. 
and I searched high and low to find that pen again when my ink ran out and you know Amazon came through so one year for Prime Day you can best believe I ordered a whole big box of them and then I saw that you can actually buy just the refills on Amazon so I might do that the next time just buy me some refills now I think I'll buy a whole box first and then buy refills because I've thrown out most of the other ones so but yeah those are like my favorite uniball something I don't even know what it's called but I like it all right And I didn't do so well with these cups because I didn't want to use the ruler again with these. It's just too tedious. So I just kind of freehand tracing these. I took my fitness clothing with me out of town every casino slash hotel I stayed in had a fitness center but I didn't utilize them and I said I was going to utilize them but I'm telling y'all when I tell you I was pooped from all that driving I was pooped from all that driving and so it just did not happen it did not so while that is drying over there I'm going to go to the other side over here and there's some, some more things that I want to stencil. Let's see. So I have these stencils here which I think are cute. I don't know if y'all can see that. Oops. These are so cute. I like these. So I'm going to stencil a few of these. This barbell here. Yeah, I hope my kettlebells really look like kettlebells. I kept calling them kettleballs, and my brother was like, uh, no, they're kettlebells. Oh, whoops, I didn't know. I thought they were kettleballs. And I still tend to say it wrong. I've just been successful so far in this video by giving them the proper name. Uh, let's see. We're going to put this bike. It's like a stationary bike, which I like to do the stationary bike at the gym. Early on, I was doing like my one class that I do and I was doing um what do you call it the treadmill but I found that I could get more mileage quicker if I actually did um, the stationary bike so that's what I decided to do the stationary bike I can go like way faster on there and it's not as strenuous for me I think the walking on the treadmill is more strenuous on my back than actually the biking the stationary biking is um, let's see um, what else did I want to do? Do, do, do so let me go over here now because I think that's all I wanted to put over there and then I have over here this where is it? Da, da, da. Okay, I'm not finding the other. There's one that says let's do it. And I thought it was on there, but I guess not. Is it on this one? No. I must have put it back on the other side and didn't mean to do that. Did it slide out? What did I do with it? No, I'm tripping y'all. It's gotta be here. 
I'm just not seeing it. Let me put the green paper because I am tired and maybe that's what's going on. That's why I'm not seeing it. It says, let's do it. Huh. Let's do this. Oh, there it is. It's on that one. Okay. See? The green paper help. All right. So, I'm going to put this down. Uh, I think I'll do this on Saturday. I don't really... I don't really um, do any exercise on Saturday. But I do want to go walking this Saturday. That's if the weather is nice and if the allergens aren't too bad. That's why I sound like this now. The mold here um, the other day was at 22,000 plus because we had rain. Yeah, it was yesterday. So we had rain and then the next day the, the mold was up like seriously high. So yeah, I've been suffering since. I didn't have these allergy issues, of course, when I was out of town. That never happens when I'm out of town. Um, the air seems to just always be fresher in other <laughs> in other states for me than it is here in Texas. So, uh, yeah, that's how that goes. Um, so I think that's going to be it for my stencils. Let me make sure I did everything I wanted to do. Um, I think so. I need to write in my dates, and I think I'm just going to manually write those in. Let's see here. So 17, 18, 19, 20. One, twenty-two, and twenty-three. So while this side is still drying, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm I'll, I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna go ahead and outline everything else that I just did in black, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished outlining everything. So I just can put five stickers and that's all I can put. Um, and then I'm gonna add some washi. Johanna, I'm gonna get you. All right, I have a checklist. I'm not gonna use the entire checklist. But let's see. We'll put that like that and then we'll go ahead and cut it. So I can only use five. So that's one. Saturday, that's two. Um, I have this from the wellness that says feel good, be good, and do good. I'm going to put this down here. That's three. Meal prepping I usually do on Sundays. Hmm. Actually put, put that here. So that's four. I might move that in a minute. Now one, two, three, four. So last one I have this girl here. And I think I'll add her over here. That's it. And I know it looks weird because I don't have a single sticker over here. <laughs> I want to cheat. I want to cheat. Oh, I know how to cheat. 
I know how to kind of cheat, but then I don't even really have space for any um, stickers over here. So I guess I can just leave that one there. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do, let's see, I still need to erase here because that was still drying. And I'm going to put some washi down. I sound so awful. <laughs> you should hear me when I really laugh. It sounds a mess. So the finishing touch will be some washi tape just to add a little something, something. added throughout um, the spread in various spots okay and then we'll add it also to the bottom here I don't know if I'm gonna ever use <laughs> the stencils as much as I did in this one because like I said my initial plan I was going to print these kettle kettle bells I was going to print them as stickers and so I'll definitely revisit this layout and do it again but with the stickers the next time And that way I can add more stickers and I can do less stencils so it would have looked even better like if all of this would have been stickers and then like only these things here were stenciled yeah that and then maybe just the water but yeah this was a lot of a lot of work I literally have been uh, working on this for three days I've been wanting to get well I came up with the concept even before I went on vacation and I kind of played around with it and practiced it um, doing the kettlebells and I wrote out all the dimensions and all of that before I went on vacation and since I've been back I've been working on it like every few days just doing a little bit here and doing a little bit there so it's probably really more than three days that I've been working on this spread so y'all better show it some love show it some love because it took me a, a long time to get this completed and can y'all imagine if I had done all of this on camera y'all would hate me <laughs> y'all would hate me because we'd be here forever and ever we don't want to do that now do we Well, she is so thin, it's not wanting to act right. All right, it's humid, and my washi doesn't want to stick down. All right, that is it. That's it. <gasps> And to think I had to do all this and now I gotta write in it. <laughs> oh Lord, that's a lot of work. Yeah, it's it's very kind of neutral, so I, that's why I decided to put the little pops of purple. I'm starting to think maybe I should color in some of the icons over here in purple, just to bring in more of the color, since this is the only side that has stickers. Yeah, I think that might work. We'll do these two in color. It's going to look weird because I already outlined it in black. But at this point, oh well. It, it needs some more color over here. It's looking a little bland. 
and I don't want it looking bland. I'm not at all. So comment below and tell me, do you do bullet journaling? Do you use stencils in your bullet journaling? Have you done any kind of stenciling as um, extensive as this is? And tell me what you think about my kettlebells. Can you tell that that's what it is? I hope you guys like it, considering all of the work that I've put into this spread. A whole lot of work. And I, there, I mean, there are times where I want to just do things as um, uh, ambitious as this spread. Then there's going to be times where I just want to do something really simple and just throw some colorful boxes down and call it a day. So I had this idea in my head and I wanted to run with it. And it reminds me. Um, and so when I saw Crystal Clear Ideas do her latest um, bullet journaling I was like wow she kind of had the same idea I had she did um, duffel bags instead so I was like I'm not the only one that's crazy enough to explore this <laughs> so it was very comforting to see that she had started it too like I said I actually started working on this before I went out of town so it's when I think about all the time that I've been working on it it, it really adds up but I like it. And like I said, it was very kind of relaxing and therapeutic to do the stenciling. I remember one day I was like kind of like not in a happy, happy space. And I came in here and I start working on some of it. And I felt better when I was done. It's like relaxing, like doing a crossword puzzle or a jigsaw puzzle. Things of that nature. All right. That is going to be it. I think it looks better that I colored it in with the pen. Gives it some pop over here because it was looking kind of woo bland. So this is my bullet journal for my fitness planning for the week of June the 17th through the 23rd. I hope you guys like it and you know what to do. Be sure to slay, subscribe, like, and accept the alerts. And I'll see you in the next video. And hopefully I have my entire voice the next time. Bye-bye, guys.